The name of the story is Monkey Medicine Story. <laughs> monkey Medicine. The story, the name of the story is Monkey Medicine. Monkey Medicine. Monkey Medicine. And there was a king in a country. Uh, he's a good king. And he, he is getting old. He wants to become young once again. <laughs> so, he wants to get some medicine to make him young once again. And he is in search of many doctors like this to prepare some special medicine for that. And one, uh, one special, so but nobody is, uh, nobody is not ready to give such kind of medicine. So if uh, anybody gives some medicine and the medicine does not work, <laughs> the king will easily kill him. <laughs> so nobody is there to give him medicine. So at last, one enlightened person, one, one enlightened master, came there and he, he gave the medicine. And uh, he told him, this is the monkey medicine. <laughs> and uh, this medicine is prepared from the hairs of the monkey. And if you take the medicine for 40 days continuously, you will become once again as a young person, as a young boy. You can, uh, you can return, you, you can, uh, you can return back to your uh, youth. <laughs> you, you once again you become youth. So the, so the, man, the, the king was very happy to receive the medicine, and you have to take daily twice, once in the morning and once in the evening. And if you take the medicine in the morning and take the medicine in the evening uh, for 40 days, for, uh, then you will become young and you will not uh, get involved. But when he gave the medicine to the king, he was giving only one condition, with a condition. <laughs> That whenever you take the medicine, you should not think about monkey. <laughs> because the medicine has been prepared by the hairs of the monkey. <laughs> so you should not think about monkey. So that is the condition. <laughs> so if you consume the medicine, if you take the medicine for 40 days, morning and the evening for 40 days, you will become younger again. But the only one condition that whenever you take the medicine, you should not think about medicine, think about monkey. That's the only condition. But the king is not uh, agitated. He is, oh, okay, I am, uh, it is okay, I will do, I will follow. But I have so many business, I have no, no time to think about anything. Uh, I am very sure that I cannot, I, I will not think about monkey and I, will, I am ready to take the medicine. And the the enlightenment also also enlightened master also gone away uh, after giving the medicine. <coughs> and the next day the the king uh, come to take the medicine. <laughs> but till he take the medicine, he did not think <laughs> the thought about any monkey. But whenever he took the medicine for uh, for his consumption. The very next moment he, he has the thought of monkey. <laughs> so, so okay, but he, why it happened like this? <laughs> so he, he, but he cannot took the medicine. So he uh, withdrew from taking the medicine and in, in the evening he once again he tried. So whenever he took the medicine, the thought of monkey came to him. 
so he is unable to take the medicine so next day also he tried and uh, that day also he unable to take the whenever he took the medicine he got the thought of monkey so he has no find no other way and he consulted the consulted their the, uh, the ministers of their court and the ministers come to their help they come to the help and they said so we can have some thought of anything at one time we may have one thought we cannot have several thought so whenever you take the monkey instead of thinking monkey you have to think uh, elephant <laughs> if you think elephant and you will you will not think about uh, monkey they suggest like this and he also uh, tried the tried in their way or he taking the medicine uh, thinking about the elephant <laughs> but whenever he touch the medicine <laughs> the elephant the, the the he has the <laughs> image of the uh, monkey in an elephant size <laughs> so we, <laughs> Becomes a bigger monkey, <laughs> just like an elephant, uh, jellyfish-sized monkey. <laughs> so he has the thought like that. <coughs> so whatever manner he tried, he cannot do. He cannot succeed. So, but he searched for the the enlightened master. How uh, how can I take the medicine without uh, thinking the monkey? He said he caused the search of his so the master who got, he gave the medicine. Uh, but at last, after very long effort, he once again got the got back the master, and he he uh, he inquired. Um, how why you have <laughs> suggested like this if you have not suggested uh, not to think about monkey you will not think about monkey but whenever you suggested that you should not think about monkey the thought of monkey alone came to me whenever i touched the medicine but you may you might have told me if you simply take the medicine i even i say sir, in this way i will also simply take the medicine without thinking anything about the monkey but whenever you impose some condition and uh, whenever you whenever i take the medicine i i remain with the condition so because of the conditioning alone i am uh, in trouble so why you impose such condition like this you can simply you might have simply given the medicine alone but uh, the master said that alone is the condition <laughs> so you i have to give that condition if i should not give the condition the mind the medicine will not work so i have to impose the condition but then what is the remedy for that so how can i take without thinking the monkey without so what is my course what is my remedy for myself so the king answer king question and there there after uh, the master explain how could, how can we take the medicine without uh, thinking the monkey so this is the story but what may be the answer given by the master so that you have to think for a while <laughs> 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 what may be the answer and uh, and he follow the answer and he successfully uh, take the medicine <laughs> and you he got the answer from the master and after so as he successfully take the medicine without thinking the monkey so what could be the answer given by the master so you have to think for a while and before that we go to the next subject and we <laughs> 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 will the subject and we will take the subject later after the next
better. And before that, you can, for yourself, you can have some, some kind and of... And if we don't have to think about monkeys, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Either you may think about monkeys or elephant. <laughs> you may also think about elephant or monkey, according to your choice. Yeah, listening to the class is important. <laughs> you have to think about monkey, how to solve this and how to attend the IA class. <laughs> that is their uh, technique. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, so here, the, um, the first in this session, we are going to discuss about what is meditation. So the meditation is very important in the spiritual field. So everybody is doing meditation. So what is the role of meditation? Is it essential for a, for enlightenment and liberation? Is meditation is is necessary? So meditation means it, it is connected with yoga. So all meditation means a practice. When we do some practice, all practices are, have some connection with the yoga. Yoga means joining together. So when we join together, some work is needed. So because we, we contain something, we join something, we, we put into some structure for that to get a shape. So you have to some work. So the joining is known as the yoga means joining, uh, put together. So in this way, the meditation <coughs> is part of the yoga. So there are many kind of meditations, but yeah, all meditation, we can simply say it is the practice of yoga. And actually, what is the basic structure of yoga? What is the necessity of yoga? What is the necessity of meditation? Here we have already seen our conscious, the expression of our consciousness, the expression of our self in the consciousness has been divided into three stages. The first stage is the waking state. In the waking state, for example, I look some object and I understand I am looking the object and I know and we recognize the object. So everything is happening. Some uh, sensation through our, our senses, I looking, hearing, everything is happening, everything is happening like through my senses. So all these senses are functioning and with the functioning of our senses, I find a tree, I, f I look at a man, I look at a, look at a flower, and I recognize this is flower, this is tree, this is man, this is animal. I can differentiate, I can recognize something. So this is happening in the waking hours, in the waking state. That is the waking state of our consciousness. And the another state is, that is sleep. In the sleep, we are unaware of anything. We do not know anything. Because we have become unconscious, totally unconscious. Because we are not conscious of anything. Uh, for example, we may sleep safely in the bed. For if you are uh, in the waking state, some uh, scorpion or snake comes near the bed, will run away from the bed or run away from the sea. But whenever in our deep sleep, Either you are snake, some snake may uh, <coughs> enter into your bed or yes, some scorpion may uh, scroll upon your body, you will not, uh, will not aware of that, you will not afraid of that because you do not consider, you don't consider, you are not in conscious of that. So here, you are, we are unconscious when we are in sleep. So that is the the sleeping state of our, that is another state of our consciousness. So it is also a state of our consciousness, but it is, it is um, uh, we are no, we are not aware of anything. We are not, we are not in a position to recognize anything. So that is a sleep. So the another state is the dreaming state. 
when you are in, even though you are in the sleeping the state of sleep we have some thought some activation in our thought process and the thought process coming during sleep is known as the dreaming state and the dreaming state we know something but we, for example we may we, we are sleeping in this house but we may think in our dream state that we are in some other country and some other situation but it is it is not real but uh, whenever we are in dream the the experience in the dream may be locally real but it is not real it is not real but but it is temporarily like this these are the three states of uh, consciousness the one state is uh, the waking state where we are consciously operate our thought we are consciously operate our consciousness we are consciously doing something if we, we can select our consciousness we can divert our consciousness we can focus our consciousness for example if you see some ugly things when i on the way we feel we see some ugly thing we can divert our vision to some other place so we can we can divert our consciousness to some other place so we can have the choice to divert anything but in the dream state we have no choice so some but some experience is going on something is going on we have no conscious choice in the dream but here in the sleep state no nothing is there so some vacuum some emptiness emptiness alone is there some there is no place of experience there is no place for recognition nothing is there so these are the three states and here in our scriptures and uh, many masters say many thing about the sleep for example we are uh, we are here for the spiritual world or any serious thinking that what we have to do in the life or anything what is the purpose of life we are we are asking many question with related to the our experience related to our life so all this happening what is the cause of our struggle in our mind if you are if you are happy we will not question anything for example uh, if you ask a child some innocent child why you have born if you ask a child uh, he the child will not answer you he will he will go on enjoying and uh, it is a waste question it is a useless question <laughs> and uh, they will feel it is a useless question meaningless question uh, he will go on with their playing go on with their uh, enjoying the life so he is happy he is innocent but whenever we are become old when you are getting old and uh, matured enough to think this and that then only we have many problems only because of our intellect the functioning of our intellect creates many problem in our life we suffer in in many ways and we all have so inter we, we are interested upon some relief from the from the problem so here if there is no place for the spiritual world so we have to solve everything in the material thing what we will do we will have some settlement in the external world also. for example if a if somebody got ill some got some disease and naturally he will feel some sadness some uh, sorrow within his mind so if the, he wants again uh, regain his health so he will be happy so in this way for example i uh, have I, i had some business and i lost many lost my property in the business i will be very unhappy i feel sorrow for the happening so if i once again regain the Uh, regain my property and we will we will we again become wealthy as i early then we will be again happy so here the change of circumstances is the cause for sorrow and the change of circumstances alone 
uh, set right ourselves and uh, get the freedom or secured ourselves to the original state where we are not seeing sorrow. So, the setting right the external thing is the taking the role to make us happy. But, we, but can we say that we, we can always settle the external thing in a proper way? But the external thing is not, it is not in our hand. For example, for, for example, our close relative died. And out of, the, out of the death of the close relative, we got some sorrow within our mind. Can we give life to the dead person? It is not possible. So in this way, many things cannot, many things in the world cannot be made once again. So we cannot get back our tranquility, we cannot get back our happiness by separate everything in the external world. So some different kind of approach has to be find out to solve the problem. So if we do not have any different kind of approach, the natural course is to seek the remedy through some drugs, alcohol, uh, alcoholic matters and drugs that may be giving you some temporary relaxation. But whenever you take some drugs and alcohol, for the time being you will be alright from the pressure of your pain, pressure of your agony. But in, whenever you are free from the influence of the drugs, you will be once again in the struggle, you will again uh, take more and more, then it will, it will affect the health of your body So then it will create more problem. So here, the spiritual world comes to save you from all your problem of the life in a different way. So that is why the all kind of meditations are given, all kind of yoga are given. So only to safeguard your safeguard yourself from your sorrow and suffering in a different way. But uh, but whenever we are doing some meditation or anything, you can have some thereby we can create some energy field around you. For example, you may be a short tempered person, very easily you can get angry very easily you will be affected by the circumstances. But whenever you are in the meditative feeling, whenever you, are, you have created some energy field around you through some meditation, you will be protected by the, the energy field. So whenever you are in the energy field, nothing will affect you very easily. If somebody scold you or somebody misbehaved you, you will not be irritated very easily. You will be adjusted where you can you can smile upon the person who is giving you trouble. You can easily manage the situation. But at the same time, but whenever you are free from the energy field, you will be only, you will be back in your original position. So, for example, where if you, uh, you may, there are certain toys you can <coughs> operate them by giving some key to that. If you put some key to the toy, the, the toy will dance and jump and run in this way. If the key is over, it will fall down. So in this way, our yogic process and meditations will give us some temporary amusement or temporary shelter for yourself, temporary protection from the agony of our life. But afterwards, it will lose its power. So, uh, if somebody may try to be in the permanently in the in the power, in the power, in the in the in the energy field, for example, if I am able to, for the time being, it is it, it, for the time being I am okay, and the next moment I, I once again in the world problem. But if I am able to maintain the energy field forever, we may think it is good. But whenever you are able to create the energy field forever, then only you will understand what is the problem of having the energy field forever. Because if you have the energy field forever, the energy field itself will destroy the health of your body. 
So that is the nature of Palata. Just like the alcohol and drugs, the, the meditative influence, the energy field also uh, some creates some problem in the nervous system of our body. So it, for the time being, if it can be taken as an alternative to the alcohol and drugs, but at the same time, we cannot uh, seek the remedy through the meditation and yoga as a permanent one. So here, what is the real state in meditation? Actually, the meditation is related to the our sleep. In, the, in our scriptures, uh, the sleep is described as the Ananda Mayakosa. They, they divided into many as just like waking state uh, and uh, dreaming state and sleep state as they classified in this in the three ways they describe the things in five ways in those in five ways the the sleep <coughs> state is defined as the ananda mayagosa the ananda mayagosa means that is purely our consciousness alone is there in in our sleep we are full of consciousness but the consciousness does not have any expression. Without consciousness, without any expression, we have the totality of the consciousness. The totality of the consciousness is the sleeping state. That is the state of the Ananda Mayakosa. So, why they name it as Ananda Mayakosa? Ananda Mayakosa is bliss. But whenever we are in sleep, we are another of the bliss consciousness. <coughs> but, can we feel the bliss consciousness when we are in sleep? Is it possible? But it is because another, that whenever we are in sleep, we, are, we do not know what is happening in our sleep. We, are, we, 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 are, we forget ourselves. But whenever we return, to the, return from the sleep, we may think that I, I have come peacefully slept. That alone we can know. But we cannot feel the sensation, we can feel the sensation of bliss consciousness during the sleep. But is it possible to feel the bliss consciousness in, through in the waking state itself? So that is the meditation process. So if you are able to feel the sensation, feel the bliss consciousness, feel the Ananda Mayagosa in the waking state is the that is the, uh, the role of the meditation, that is the role of the yoga. And the all yoga, all meditation gives you some uh, understanding, gives you some experience in the waking state of the sleeping condition, the bliss consciousness. And for example, you have some, some work, some personal work in your family and you attending the work day and night and for that you have no sleep in the night for continuously three days you have no sleep day and night you have no sleep and you have to attend the work without any rest so the the, the work is over within after three days and after three days the fourth day you have no work so you plan that you know, today no work is there, but I have terribly tired as we have no sleep in the previous nights. And today I select, I have to spend the entire day for our sleep. So you design like this, you plan like this. And you go to your bed after taking some food and you plan, you have to take rest for the entire day around for at least eight hours. That is, you have to be total rest in the sleep. And you plan to go to your, uh, into your bed. And you go to your deep sleep. And one or two or three hours later, somebody came there and <coughs> make you wake up. And you wake up from the sleep. But here, you have activated the sleep. Then the activation of sleep continues. The activation of sleep goes on uh, and you feel some energy. You have some energy through the activation of sleep. 
And uh, you, but at the same time, you are waking. But when you are waking after two or three hours of sleep, you will have the feeling that you have to return to the sleep. And at the same time, some duty may be there to go away from the sleep. So in that time alone, you can feel the sensitivity of the sleep. You can feel. The sensitivity of the sleep may be somewhat, some, you will have some good feeling that you can feel. When you, when everybody can have feeling, such like, but this kind of feeling cannot be felt in the night. But if it is in the daytime, you can very easily feel it. Because it is unusual, because the day sleep is unusual, but the uh, night sleep is usual, then we cannot feel, if, if you are disturbed in the sleep in the night, you will not feel like this. But if, the, if you are uh, sleeping in the daytime, the, the disturbance will create, the, that uh, during the time of disturbance, you can feel the quality of the sleep. You can feel, you can feel the sensation of the sleep. <coughs> so, sen the sensation is, is the bliss consciousness. And this kind of bliss consciousness, uh, that can be, we can create this kind of bliss consciousness through our meditation. We can practice our meditation, we can focus your attention about consciousness, and your direct your uh, thing. So, there are many kind of meditation. Through such kind of meditation, you are activating the, the bliss consciousness.